Hey guys, how are you? All right. Let's go outside and see what we can find, huh? That's a beautiful, bright sun. Yeah. This is what I was talking about when I was talking about... Uh, let me get down here. There we go. All right. This is um, wild lettuce. It's wilting a little bit right now. We haven't had water. And it's been a warm day, so... Um, take it off and you can see the milkiness on that as it comes up so and what I'll do is I'll check it for bugs real quick make sure I'm not eating anything else if I can avoid it you know um, and immediately the bitter the strong bitterness but um, as I emulsify it with my teeth and I really get all those juices going so it, it gets in my system faster and I can um, get some relief with my back pain and everything and I'll probably take two here <laughs> um, there you go make sure Whew, that was strong bitter and it lingers for oh god it lingers for a long time in the mouth. But, you know, if you want medicine, sometimes you just take it, you know. You gotta, gotta do what's best for your medicine. Um, so that's one plant I have in the garden. Where's my other one? Oh, let's go look at Doc. There it is. Oh, man, I got all these seeds coming in my yard. That's okay. They're good for us. This is Doc, okay? This is a beautiful, wonderful plant. Uh, it's good for you. Lots of vitamins and minerals. You can look that up if you want. Um, and it's not bad. It's got a lemony flavor. Again, I'm going to check it for bugs just because um, I do not spray anything in my yard. Never have and never will. Um, oh, there's a nice... That's... See, this is the best way to find Doc. You're going to make a salad with it right there. These nice long leaves without the seeds before it's um, started to push. Uh, and there's some baby Doc growing in my... Those are my lentils. You should be able to see that pretty clearly. So, Doc, a fantastic uh, food source. And... Uh, really good in a, a salad if you want that lemony or just a different flavor, you know. You don't have to have salad dressing every time, guys. You can mix in some wild stuff. Oh, this is what, I, oh, this is what I, else I wanted to show you. You can see it. It's growing everywhere. All this stuff. That's a lamb's quarter. There it is. Here's our friend. Oh, gosh. Okay, look at that. That's all lamb's quarter. You can see there's been something eaten on it, which means it's tasty. I'll look for bugs. And... Mmm. It's um, I think that's why it's called lamb's quarter because it's really got a meaty, mm, yeah, real like it does. It has like a meaty flavor, you know. And it's it's substantial and definitely, um, it's it's tasty. It is tasty. Fills me up. I eat a good couple of handfuls. There's a bug on it. Yeah. So all kinds of <clears throat> all kinds of <laughs> great food items, guys, in your backyard. Um, you know, with a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of research on your own, you can enjoy. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> you can enjoy all kinds of different flavors added into your 
food that you've never really had. Oh, another one. There's another one in my yard. <sighs> okay. In the, um, <clears throat> amongst all this fine, uh, um, lentils, these are lentil plants, guys. Oh, there's some more of that lamb's quarters, you know. Well, am I even bringing it into focus? I don't know. So, there is what's called purslane. Okay, so this looks more like a succulent, guys. Okay, it definitely looks like a succulent. It's not, um, sorry, I didn't mean to get the sun in it directly. Um, it's, there's another one that kind of looks like this. It's a weed and it grows flat on the ground and you can always see the seeds growing and everything. And, it, and it's flat. The leaves are really flat and they don't look like succulents at all. Um, that is not what this is. Okay. Let's see if I can get a nice little close-up. As you can see, it's nice and glossy. It's thin, but, but still has some thickness to it. And um, if you eat it raw, and it's tasty, and it's sweet. Um, but there's definitely, you know, it's, it's, it's more like a succulent, so it's got kind of a, mm, I guess a, I don't want to say gooey, because it's not, it's not slimy or anything, but you can definitely tell as you chew that there's a, uh, that it's um, got a different texture to it, you know. Not, I don't want to call it slimy. And, it, and then there's that sweet tart flavor on the end there. And I guess people, people, <clears throat> oh, people, um, <clears throat> people cook with it more often than they than they eat it raw. So, um, yeah. So that's a little trip in the backyard. Y'all be blessed. Have a good one. I'm going to go sit down for a while now. Bye, y'all.